It's time to lay demons to rest. Hopefully, probably not. The PRS SC Hollow Body 2 Piezo. Let's do this. Alright, so before I begin this video on the PRS SC Hollow Body 2 Piezo, again, let me share with you a brief story about my most infamous YouTube video. <laughs> Why not to buy the PRS SC Hollow Body 2 Piezo? So, I released this video three years ago, right when this guitar was released by PRS, and it has gone on to be one of my most viewed gear reviews, got all kinds of vitriol, got completely ratioed by a lot of PRS hard-on fanboys out in the world, and I never took it down. You guys complained so much and watched it so much that I got my 40,000 minute time limit for monetization on YouTube through that video. So, thank you very much. But I knew that if I ever got one, I would have to do a formal review on the guitar more than just me riffing on what I thought the guitar was about, and so now for you, today, I've got a full-on review of the PRS SE Hollow Body 2 Piezo. And here it is. This is the SC Hollow Body 2 Piezo in black gold, black gold uh, burst. It is, for the record, a beautiful guitar. I wouldn't expect anything less from PRS than a beautiful instrument. But there are several things that I think need to be explained and brought up before you go about buying one, just so you know what you're getting into. But first of all, let's do the good things and get it out of the way. Good things about this guitar, obviously the looks. It's got a great feeling neck, nice and big, reminds me of the McCarty 594 necks. It's got a beautiful binding on the fretboard, double bound across the body as well. And it's a nice like figured maple. You can see some stripings here. Very nice look for a Chinese made PRS. The guitar has two outputs, right? There's a piezo output, piezo electric output, that's on this bridge, right here, that's the piezo bridge, and then we've got a actual humbucker output. Those outputs alone determine whether or not you pick the humbucker output alone, or it's a piezoelectric humbucker blend. We'll go through that in the later section of the video. The guitar also comes with a really nice hard shell case, not exactly like amazing quality hard shell case, but for what you're paying for this guitar, it's nice to have a hard shell case to go with it, just as a certain level of protection. Other things of note, the guitar is actually bigger than a standard hollow body, so it's gonna be just slightly bigger than a, than a hollow body 2 by PRS. But let's talk about some of the hot takes on this guitar. So, overall, I'm still not impressed with the PRS SC hollow body 2 piezo. What it comes down to is, is that you really have to determine at what point does guitar feature sets at what point do they become gimmicks? Although the piezo electric pickup does what a piezo electric does, it's a gimmick. Really, you're, have to, you're gonna have to run two simultaneous outputs to get the piezo sound and the humbucker sound at the same time. But here's the difference, okay? Even the electronics on this thing provides a little bit of a gimmick because what you're having to do is, there is no tone control on the piezoelectric pickup. So if you pick the piezoelectric output and you're going into an amp and you want to warm the sound of your piezo, you have to blend the humbuckers back in. Here's the thing though, that side of the output jack is powered by a nine volt battery. It's got a preamp in it. The sound is markedly different doing a humbucker output versus a humbucker piezo output and just blending piezos out 
or adding humbuckers alone. The 9-volt changes everything tonally with the guitar and makes it a lot louder. So if you expect to move from, you know, one guitar rig to the next and you're swapping out guitars, you may have dialed in your passive guitar pickup on your electric just right to hit your overdrive. But now that 9-volt, even if you're removing the piezo from the output jack, it's going to be way louder and it's going to affect your gain staging. And to me, there just is no real practical applicability with the piezo humbucker output blend on that guitar. Unless you really, really want that proggy piezo electric like sound, like Opeth or whomever you may, you know, cite as having that sound, it really doesn't add anything to the guitar except more pain. And that's all to say, piezo electrics just do not sound good. It's literally quartz. It's literally a, you know, piezoelectric material, so the string vibrates, it activates this quartz, quartz creates an electric current, and then gives you that output. But it's just so brittle and so high-end, you need your own EQ, and since there's no active tone control on the piezo, like, you're just forced with the blend, and you're hope and pray your sound guy is going to figure it out, or if you have an EQ on your board, you're going to have to change it from your standard electric setup. It's all depend on this piezoelectric and it, the functionality sure is there but I would never use it live it's just too tough to finagle and too tough to dial in and that leads me to my biggest gripe which is price point the price point is extremely high for this guitar we're talking 1500 bucks for what is a Chinese made instrument and you can tell it's Chinese made even though the guitar is beautiful and it sounds good for a PRS the PRS SE for goodness sakes you can tell that the electronics are shoddy, the plastic output plate is very riddle, and the fact that you have a Chinese-made guitar, even though it might sound good, you're never going to be able to sell this to someone for an American guitar. I mean, there might be someone out there who wants the piezoelectric sound, but to be fair and to be honest, I generally judge all of my guitar models based on the national market, and no one's, no one's buying these guitars. I mean, there's currently three or four on Facebook Marketplace, and they haven't moved in months. And not only that, but Sweetwater and several other retailers dropped the price of this guitar over Christmas. And so you can buy one for like 400 bucks less, which to me is like a lot more reasonable. Still expensive, but a lot more reasonable. And these guitars just aren't moving off the shelves. And so you have a whole group of people who bought into these piezoelectric guitars. And the Acousta songs are in the same route, and they get them, and you're like, what am I going to do with this? This thing is... 1500 bucks for that and that's all to say where can this guitar be effectively used it's tough like i said you have to be doing the prog thing or if you're in desperate need as a church guitar player and you need to run two outputs one to a di box and one to your pedal board you can do that and get the acoustic thing but you're just when you're playing a lead guitar part it's gonna sound like an acoustic playing a lead guitar part an acoustic and an electric guitar playing the lead guitar part at the same time. There's a whole stylistic difference that you're losing by being able to only play one style with two different sounds. It's, to me, wholly unreliable and something that might seem fun on the outside, but when it comes down to brass tacks, you're never going to use it. So there you go. There's my take. Well, full circle. I've played one. I've got the idea. And I'm within the same kind of area that I was three years ago. It's gimmicky, no one's going to want them, and people who do don't understand what their sound is or what to play. If you're using a piezoelectric PRS, I wanna know what you're using it for. I wanna know what kind of styles you're using it for. Once again, maybe in the box, maybe as a standalone, it may work, but I do wanna know I might be wrong on this, but I can't say that I'm convinced after having this guitar for a month or two, putting it through its paces, that this guitar is anything worthwhile and will ever afford you a level of professionalism that just a bona fide acoustic and electric would give you in a real world scenario. Guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. I make videos all the time. Guys, this is the PRS SC Hollow Body 2 Piezo. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and comes as a welcome addition, addendum to the 
Criticism's already given in a video three years ago. I will link both down below so you can see what all the hype's about if you haven't seen it already. But guys, it's been great to see you, and we'll see you next time on our next video and our episode of iGuitar.